Today I'm going to be making nachos with no meat in them, which is no great news flash. It is quite common for people to make nachos with no meat, but I like nachos with mints. I like having mints. I like that nice meaty flavor in them. So this is a meatless version for those who actually like meat. And we had to devise this recipe last weekend when we, I'd gotten everything I needed to make nachos and I realized I was all out of mints. It was a resounding success. It was brilliant. The kids gave it the absolute thumbs up. They even themselves said that if I hadn't told them, they wouldn't have realized there was no mints in there. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. So this is nachos done much cheaper for those who like it with mints. In this pan here, I've actually got what, I won't say what it looks like. It doesn't look pleasant at all. However, <laughs> this is the stuff, some of Pam's dried soup mix. Now, what I do is, every now and then, I'll buy a packet of this. It has got pearl barley, split peas, and red lentils in it. And I just cook it all up, boil it all up for a good hour or so, so it's really nice and soft. And then, because there's way too much for just one dinner in there, I actually freeze it in portions. And whenever I'm doing something with mince, I, I supplement a portion of that, however much you reckon. That, that does us about four portions, about four meals. But um, yeah, if I'm doing mince, I supplement it with that as well, and it just reduces the amount of meat that you need. You'll need a large onion. Large onion. Tom. You'll need your onion goggles. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't so much dice this onion, but I just sort of chop it that way a couple of times and then cut it into sort of thin bits. So it's in between slicing and chopping, I suppose. Just heated that pan up with a bit of oil. Oh, I put the skin in it. Chuck that in. Mom, can I open these? Hang on, I'm just getting a splinter out. So, you want to cook that onion really, really well. Oh, oh, is that onion a good stir? Can we put these in now, Mom? I'm just going to put in half a cup of water. Oh, oh. Ooh, <laughs> and and we're just going to crumble in two beef oxo cubes. I'll put my noisy extractor fan on. Just that. Really, really good mix around. About one cup's worth of that soup mixture I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, that soup mixture will just absorb all that nice meaty flavour. Just going to turn the heat down on that a little bit. And we're going to put in one can of lentils. Doesn't matter what brand, but the Watties stuff was on special because the can has a dent in it. <laughs> so I got it for 99 cents, so it's cool. I'm a big fan of the dented can shelf at Pack and Save. So I'm just going to drain the liquid out. I want to use the dented can. Right. Going to dump that in. Yeah, they're like brown coloured lentils. But um, apparently it is, it is also cheaper just to buy dried lentils and soak them yourself. But often I'm not that organised. I know, I know, hard to believe. <laughs> so yeah, it, they're handy just to have on hand. Those are actually also really awesome for supplementing mints things. Especially if you don't want people to realise you're supplementing the mints, those, those canned lentils. They're pretty close to the real thing. Right, next we're going to add two cans of chilli beans. Now, I've got the Watties stuff this week because they were on they were on a special not the dented can aisle but <laughs> they were the cheapest this week but they're not always I, there's there's other sort of home brands Mama, like, Pam, hot. like Pam's and that sort of thing of chili beans but um yeah let's have a look sometimes other ones are cheaper 
I always get the hot variety. I'm very lucky I have kids that actually like a bit of spice. A lot of chili beans. So, that, that is now looking and smelling yum. Just value brand tomatoes and juice. Now, um, usually I get the chopped tomatoes, but I grabbed the whole ones by mistake, but that's fine. You grab the whole ones and you can chop them yourself. Mind blown. I know of your capabilities. <laughs> yes, right, so we tip the lot in there, juice and all. Let's give them a good smush around. That is looking absolutely beautiful. I'm now going to put a lid on that and just let that bubble on a low heat for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to prep the other stuff. Okay, now I have mentioned in the past I do like to veggie things up, especially for the kids. Now, if you struggle to get your kids to eat lettuce, this is a good way of doing it. Because trust me, lettuce smothered in chili bean nacho mix, oh yeah, it's actually really, really good. I don't do it separate like a salad. Cut off a hunk. And just sort of, you know, I just sort of dice it up into like, you know, sort of one centimetre square bits. I always do my nachos in bowls too. I just like it in a bowl. Dinner in a bowl is more fun. Don't ask me why, it just is, trust me. Get a big handful of lettuce and just sprinkle that into each dish. And yes, I did pretty much go through a whole lettuce for <laughs> five of us there. It was a smallish lettuce, but thank you very much to my cousins Janet and Ken for coming and bringing that lettuce with them for us. <laughs> that end bit the chickens with the corn chips. Every time I'm doing nachos I always check and see which is cheapest per 100 grams. Sometimes it varies, sometimes it works out cheaper to buy the bigger packets, sometimes it's cheaper to buy the smaller packets. These are the pan ones, cheese flavoured corn chips, they were on special this week. Now, I have said in a previous video and I still stand by it, I am dedicated to making something like this instead of buying it because i've actually seen how they make it and the amount of oil in these oh my goodness so i'm not going to be making them the traditional way <laughs> if you don't want to use these kind of corn chips what you can actually do though is use a tortilla or a wrap cut it into segments and actually bake it in the oven some people do that and it crisps up doesn't really have a lot of flavour to it though, but um, yeah, I just sorry, I just like these, they're yummy and cheesy and the other wee trick for making this a little bit cheaper is instead of buying sour cream, you can <laughs> you can use Greek yogurt. Of course I make my own Greek yogurt, I'll stick a link up there to my Greek yogurt recipe, just making it in the slow cooker. It is really, really easy. It's just a matter of getting around to doing it some days. But um, yeah, this is this is my homemade Greek yogurt and it's, I wouldn't say it is an absolute substitute for sour cream. Clint reckons it's not quite the same, but price difference wise, yeah, it's, it's worth substituting it, that. That looks absolutely yummy. You wouldn't know there was no meat in here. Let's dollop that on top of each one. Ah, uh, the spotty one is yours. Yeah, the nacho chips. This is looking like a really healthy dinner before I spoil it. <laughs> I don't just leave the lettuce on the bottom. Let's get a couple of forks. Give it a really, really good mush up. So the lettuce actually gets coated in that mixture. Then put another wee dollop of the mixture on top. <laughs> and it, trust me, it is just yummy. It is yummy. Is it yummy, Aston? What is it? Yummy. Yes. Yummy. <laughs> the application of the nacho chips. 
that is also a personal thing. Some people put the nacho chips like on a plate on the bottom. With the kids, they like the nacho chips. Bump, bump, bump all around the side. Mm -hmm. With the application of the nacho chips, me and Clint are even less classy than the kids. So here's what we tend to do and put your feet. And then I push them up. This is like Friday night comfort food, you know. You smush the chippies up and then you mix them in with this. And basically what you've got is a plate full of absolutely yummy, delicious slop. <laughs> Best way I can describe it, but it's so good. So then, the substitute sour cream. Cheese and ground pie. Oh, don't let them in the middle of the week. You are. And look at those. Yum. Plonker. No, a plonker. No.